Eisenheimer and I'm going to talk to you today about how to do an underwater hockey flick. Now the underwater hockey flick is one of the more fundamental parts of playing underwater hockey and although I don't profess to be an A player, I do think we can break down the underwater hockey flick so some of the newbies can learn to at least get the puck off the bottom of the pool. So uh, with my help of my underwater hockey buddy, I'm going to show you how to do the underwater hockey flick. Let me start with a little disclaimer. If you're the sort of person that can flick the puck three lengths of a football field on a bad day, or perhaps your rainbow flick is so high that it exits the surface of the water, disturbing the ducks swimming overhead, then you probably don't need to watch this video. But for everybody else, I hope that you'll find something that's useful that you can take home and uh, we'll get started. Body position is important. The back arches and the stomach almost touches the bottom of the pool. Uh, sadly, it's easier for some of us to touch the bottom of the pool with our stomach than others. And this is important, the elbow needs to be elevated. If you're having trouble getting your elbow elevated, you may need to move your hand more laterally. This will help pop the elbow up. Elevating the elbow forces the forearm to rotate into the correct position for attacking the puck. The elbow presses down and moves forward in one sweeping motion. Notice the difference in the position of the elbow from the start to the finish of the flick. Okay, now we're going to look at the positioning of the puck on the stick. When starting the flick, the puck is set in the notch between the index finger and the stick. The puck is rolled down the stick, starting a spin to the puck, and it exits near the end of the stick. This roll can be started by moving your thumb and stick backwards while moving the hand forward. Notice the change of the position of the puck from the start of the flick to the point where the puck leaves the front rail of the stick. Now we're going to look at the position of the stick during the flick. When positioning the stick for the start of the flick, the stick needs to be held horizontal to the pool bottom and low. The front edge of the stick should be below the top edge of the puck. It's important to understand that the stick does not remain horizontal to the bottom of the pool throughout the flick. The stick starts a small lift of the puck off the bottom of the pool and finishes with a follow through to a vertical position. If the stick remains parallel and horizontal to the pool bottom, you will not get any lift of the puck off the bottom and you will do a slide rather than a flick. If you're an A player and have some tips or pearls you'd like to pass on to your fellow underwater hockey players, please post in the comments section of this video. Generalized statements such as, lucky you stink, are not specific enough. Please be very detailed in the comments section. If you happen to be passing through Orlando, we would love to have you join us. We play on Wednesday and Friday nights. You can check us out on Facebook, Orlando Underwater Hockey. I am required to say that no ducks were harmed during the filming of this video. See underwater and fins up.